Hello everyone. We are so glad to welcome all of you to the Art Integration Projects presentation. Before we start, let me introduce myself and brief you about the project and its source. I am Sukriti Rawat from Class 6D. Art Integration is a project under the theme Ek Bhal Shresht Bharat organized by CBSE. It focuses on pairing two states and knowing more about each other. We are privileged to be paired with Odisha as it has beautiful culture which was vastly explored by all of us. We hope that all of you enjoy watching the presentation as much as we had making it. So let's get started. Our anchors. Then the house is locked. One minute, I'll get back. Hello? Hey, Ansh. How are you doing? I am doing perfectly alright. Where are you living? Can't see you at your house. It's locked. Wow! Odisha? Yes! Did you know that Odisha is the seventh largest state in India? I also want to visit Odisha when this COVID pandemic ends. You should! It's really awesome with all of the tourist attractions, food, art forms and dance forms. So tell me, how and where are these tourism places? Someday I'd like to visit all of them. For example, the Jagannath Temple in Puri, the Lingaraj Temple in Bhubaneswar, the Shanti Stupa in Dhauri, Nandan Kanan Zoo in Bhubaneswar, Orissa State Museum in Bhubaneswar, Udaygiri and Kondagiri Caves, the Shanti Stupa in Dhauri, the Chilikal Lake, the Hirakot Dam, the Simlipal National Park, Panchalingueshwar Temple in Baleswar, then there is also the Subhadra Temple in Gaudapajanga, the Balotej Gym and the Balotej Gym Temple in Kendragada. Tourism Group Welcome to Odisha. Odisha is well known among the tourists for its rich ancient cultural heritage, national parks and wildlife, beaches, traditional music and dance, temple, handicraft, etc. The architectural wonder shows a limitless beauty that attracts the tourists from all parts of the world. Now let's learn more about the top tourist places of Odisha. Bhubaneswar. Bhubaneswar is the capital city of Odisha and also known as the temple city of India. As per historical data, it is the home for over 2000 temples in the past. It is also famous for Buddhism and Jainism sculptures and caves. These caves are finely carved as they are partly natural and partly artificial. Now the next we have is the Konar, the Sun Temple. This temple is designed as a huge geroid for the sun god Surya. This 13th century temple is famous for its beautiful architecture and carved and intricate carvings. There is another famous visiting place near to the Sun Temple is the Chandramaka beach. The beach is famous for religious importance where devotees take a dip in honor to the sun god. If you are interested in classical dance and music, then don't miss the Kona Festival. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Prithamesh from 6D and I am going to uh, present this PPT. Beaches such as Goa. Gopalpur, Sea Beach, Chandipur Beach and Puri Beach are the best beaches of Odisha. Scenic beauty of the Odisha's beaches is even lovelier due to the resorts and hotels that are across the state. Oh, 
Puri Beach. Puri Beach is also known as the Golden Beach. It is located on the shore of Bay of Bengal. It is also known for tourist attraction and the Hindu sacred place. The beach is the site of annual Puri Beach Festival, which is co-sponsored by the Indian Ministry of Tourism. Chilika Beach, better known as a lake, Chilika Beach is the largest brackish with historian character that sprawls along the east coast of India. It is considered to be the most largest lagoon in India and counted amongst the largest lagoons in the world. The lake is highly productive ecosystem with rich fishery resources. Thank you. his role in India's independence movement, a participant of the No Cooperation Movement and a leader of the Indian National Congress. He was a part of the more militant wing and known for his advocacy of socialist policies. And he was born on 23rd January 1897 in Odisha, India and he died on 18th August 1955 in Taipei. He was working on the Indian struggle. Now let's move or let's step into the world of one of the greatest freedom writers. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Located in Ovia Bazaar in the city of Chiltern Netaji birthplace is an inseparable house of Subhash Chandra Bose And he is one of the key grace freedom fighters Freedom fighters Janakina Bhavan is the place where Netaji used to live and now has been converted into the museum where you get chance to trace his life from his childhood to early days as a freedom fighter. Good morning my dear friends and dear teachers. Today I am going to tell about Orissa tourism and my topic is Puri. My name is Simran Soli and I am from 6th D. Puri in Orissa is one of the four must visit pilgrimage sites for Hindus because of Jagannath temple that forms the part of Char Dham in India. Puri is a beach city located on the coast of Bay of Bengal which is of the favorites among people of West Bengal for a short trip. The Puri temple is the famous for its annual Ratha Yatra or Chariot Festival in which three principal diets are put on huge and elaborately decorated temple cards. Unlike the stone and metal icons found in most Hindu temples, the image of Jagannath, which gave its name to the English term Jagannath, is made of wood and is ceremonially replaced every 12 or 19 years and exempt replica. Thank you. What do you eat there? Odisha has many dishes 
sometimes withdraws from extremely appetizing food. For example, kaza pakhado, rice mixed in water, mixed with curd, with chilies and onions, dalma, basically dal with some vegetables inside of it, aru parta, mashed potatoes with onions, chilies, etc. And sago bhaja, spinach which is cooked in spices until it is very soft. Food Story Group So first I have taken handful of rice and I am soaking it right now for at least 15 minutes. Here we have taken boiled milk. Now I have uh, taken out the water from the bowl and now I am going to add it uh, to, uh, to the boiled milk. Now we have uh, added the uh, rice to the milk and we have to stir it occasionally for at least th uh, 30 minutes so it does not stick to the kadhai. Now I have uh, taken some almonds, raisins and a walnut so we are going to uh, chop, uh, uh, chop the almonds and the walnut uh, until uh, the milk gets uh, boiled. I uh, will give it a stir. We have to stir it until it gets thick. Yes. Now let's cut the almonds. I've cut one before. Now, as you can see. Uh, we can see the rice on it and it's uh, uh, thick now so I think it's uh, ready uh, to put the other things in it so uh, let's add some sugar in it uh, I'm going to add four scoops uh, three scoops of uh, this uh, this small bowl you can adjust the sugar according to your taste oops and put the sugar one scoop Two scoop and three scoop. Now let's give it a stir. Now we are going to add the dry fruits in it. So first I'll add the walnut. I'll add the badams or the almonds. Now I'll add, add the raisins. Give it a stir. Now, as you can see, the key is ready. Uh, I'll just turn off the gas and just give it a small stir. And now we can serve it into the bowl. Let's serve it.
The cheese looks delicious. Now, as you can see, the cheese is ready. And uh, let me uh, tell you how this is the taste. It's very good. You can also try it. Thank you. Famous food of Odisha. Table of contents. 1. Introduction. 2. Main ingredients. 3. Temple food. 4. And one of the most famous foods of Odisha. Introduction. Already a favored destination for adventure seekers, the Indian state of Odisha is also known for its scenic beauty, intriguing type culture, and archaeological brilliance. Apart from this well known fact, the appetizing cuisine of the state is most like travelers' moon. The cuisine of Odisha has less spices and oil, but is high on flavors. Main ingredients Rice is a major crop of Odisha, along with wheat, lentils such as peas and peas, and moong beans. Are another major indeed ingredients. Examples of igneous vegetables in use in Odia cuisine are pumpkin, gourd, plantains, jackfruit, and papaya. Vegetables used such as chilies, potatoes, cauliflowers, and cabbages are also used. Curries are garnished with dry raw mango. Panchaputna is a blend of five spices which is widely used in Odia cuisine. It contains mustard oil, cumin, fenugreek, anise, and kaluni onion seeds. Garlic, onion, and ginger are used in most of the food. Temple food preparation do not allow garlic or onion. Turmeric and red chilies are used regularly. Temple food. Temples of in the regions make offerings to the presiding deities. The offerings of the Jagannath temple is well known and specifically called Mahaprasad, meaning the greatest of all offerings. It contains top 56 recipes, so it is called Champan Bhoga. It can, based on the legend that Krishna missed his eight meals for seven days while he was trying to save a village from a song holding up Gavardhan Hill as a shelter. Pakla. Pakla is an Odia cuisine consisting of cooked rice washed in water. The liquid part of the dish is known as Thorani. It's proper in the state of Odisha and is similar various in the eastern regions like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Bengal and northeast states of Assam and Tripura. <laughs> It's okay. Put that garlic also. Yeah. Put the not on for three minutes. Three minutes. You can put crushed peanuts. And salt. So it's ready for us now. We'll take it in a plate. Oh wow! And what do you celebrate then? Well, you see, Odisha follows the majority of the festivals of the world, like Christmas, Gandhi Jayanti, Republic Day, Independence Day, etc. But it also has its own festivals. For example, two of the most famous festivals in Odisha are Rathya Yatra, the festival in which Lord Jagannath along with his brother and sister go to another temple to rest, and Bahura Yatra, the journey in which Lord Jagannath and his brother and sister come back to the main temple.
फेस्टिवल्स ग्रुप फेस्टिवल्स दुर्गा पूजा दुर्गा पूजा इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशल सेलिब्रेशन विद फन इवेंट्स ऑफ ओरिसा विच इज ब्यूटिफुली सेलिब्रेटेड ऑल ओवर द स्टेट ऑफ ओरिसा इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर और अक्टूबर द स्ट्रीट्स आर लाइटेड अप एंड पंडाल्स आर डेकोरेटेड टू सेट द स्पिरिट ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन अमॉन्ग द पीपल छाउ फेस्टिवल to represent the tribal life and traditional dances of orissa chau special celebration is celebrated with great excited interest in the whole of orissa this special celebration is mostly attached to the orissa dance form mayurbhanj chau konark dance festival dedicated purely to the beauty of the konark sun and temple and the rich beauty of the odisha odissi dance This special celebration is beyond religions and customs. The special celebration is celebrated to thank the very old beauty of the Konark Temple. Rath Yatra, also known as the Car Festival, is dedicated to Lord Jagannath, who is believed to, to be an avatar of Lord Vishnu and Lord Krishna. The Rath or Chariot Yatra on this festival represents the journey of Lord Krishna from Gokul to Mathura. Thank you. art forms group Hello everyone. My name is Anvi Khandelwal from Class Six D, and today I'm going to talk about art forms of Odisha. Art and craft of Odisha, diverse and vibrant. The art and craft of Odisha range from stonework, patta chitra, wood craft, brass and bell metal work, terracotta, tie and dye textile, in cotton, tazar and silk, to name a few. patta chitra is the most famous art of odisha about which we are going to talk ahead introduction of patta chitra 
Patta Chitra is a general term for traditional cloth based paintings based in the eastern Indian states of Orissa and West Bengal. In Sanskrit, Patta means cloth and Chitra means picture. Most of these paintings show or tell the stories of Hindu deities. So, at the end, I would like to show you a Patra Chitra drawing which was made by me. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Kriti Rao. Today I am performing Chau, a dance originated in Odisha. Chau is a semi-classical Indian dance with martial and folk traditions. The word Chau is, deri is derived from Sanskrit. Chaya meaning a shadow, an image or a mask. Male dancers perform this dance during the day while females perform at night. Dhol, Shehnai and Thamsa are some important instruments of this dance form. Chao masks are made from paper pulp, hand painted from natural colors and adorned with plastic beads. A special layer of mud is applied to these masks before they are sun dried. That's the information for Chao dance and now let me take you to the wonderful world of Chao. Thank you. and today I am going to perform a dance on Lavni. Lavni is a genre of music popular in Maharashtra. It is a combination of song and dance which is particularly performed to the beats of Dholki, a percussion instrument. It is noted for its powerful rhythm. It has contributed substantially to the development of Marathi folk theatre. So hope you like it. Thank you. 
enjoyed. Thank you. Okay, thanks. I think I should visit Odisha more often. Yeah, it's awesome. We should really visit all of these attractions. Oh, thanks for the information. Bye. Hello, everyone. I am Sanjana Punchi of Six D, and I am highly honored to be given a chance to thank all people responsible for making our presentation a success. I would like to start with thanking our principal, vice principal, and coordinators who have given us this opportunity for exploring a new state. Our teachers and our parents have been our constant support, constant guidance by our class teacher Tanushri Ma'am. has helped us a lot i would like to thank all parents who have been really patient and supportive thank you everyone for your precious time and support we look forward to some more exciting projects like this thank you